Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today I'm going to be sharing my monthly faves. So these are products that I loved during the month of May. I know it's been a couple of weird months, but even though it's been weird, you know, I'm embracing the process. I've been trying so much for you guys behind the scenes and I'm, um, you know, I just want to share what I've discovered, what I've been obsessed about. I'm going to do a little bit of skincare and mainly makeup because I've been having a ton of fun with makeup. If this is your first time here, my name is Gigi. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope to stay and subscribe and click that red subscribe button below for more. And without further ado, let's start. All right, friends, let's get started. And can we take a second and talk about my thick sweater for today's video? I mean, it is super cold today. It is about nine degrees here in Toronto. And it's just weird times, you guys. I cannot believe how weird life has uh, become. But you know, as I mentioned, I just have to embrace whatever we're living at the moment and just take it step by step. I really hope you're doing okay mentally and you're trying to keep sane. You know, sanity to me, a lot of time means makeup and just wearing things that I love and coming here and filming and so that's why I enjoy it so much and I keep coming back so I hope you don't mind and yeah let's get started Alrighty, friends. and the first product that I wanted to share is this one by Sephora it is their ultra glow serum and this guy ha is a serum that has vitamin C and vitamin E in it and it's gonna help you increase radiance improve and even out skin tone it is meant for all skin types and it helps with dark spots dryness fine lines and wrinkles you guys I'm obsessed with this product you're gonna see in my demo that it really gives you a super nice glow but not only that it's just perfect for underneath makeup so if you've been wanting to try vitamin C and you find that those are super sticky the one that I use mainly is um, one by Tarte and one by Glow Recipe those ones are really thick vitamin C's and they don't really look nice under makeup so I'm always trying to find the next best vitamin C that is gonna really absorb into my skin and it's gonna let my makeup look nice and this is it guys this is the answer for all my prayers I love this guy so so much this is one of those clean as Sephora uh, products and it has supposedly 99% ingredients that are natural and they do put fragrance in their ingredients list which I really don't like uh, but you know why as long as it's not really irritating my skin I'm okay using it if you don't like fragrance in your skincare then you want to skip this guy altogether um, but again I've just been enjoying this guy because underneath makeup I don't really like a thick hydrating thin and I feel like I'm targeting my dark spots and it's looking great and it's giving me the brightness that vitamin C will give and it also has vitamin E. So it's a really great product, super affordable by Sephora and yeah, I cannot get enough. The next product is this one by Misha. It is Colder Essence Sun Milk SPF 50. And this is a K-Beauty um, sunscreen. I was gonna put it in my demo, but I forgot and I didn't film it. So look at that, you guys. It's just really a lotion that is gonna absorb super quick, will never leave you a white cast, and it just feels like a hydrating, you know, moisturizer kind of thing. So sometimes when I'm wearing this one, not sometimes, Actually, every time that I wear this guy, I skip my moisturizer altogether because I have combo skin and sometimes I don't like to put too many things over my makeup. Um, but so I appreciate that this guy, you see, like it just absorbs, it gives you a super healthy glow. So you can even wear it all by itself with no makeup. And I'm so, so impressed by this. So again, this is their Misha Essence Sun Milk SPF 50. And you can buy this guy from Amazon and Yes Style. So I've been obsessed with a lot of Korean beauty products. You're gonna uh, find out more. I've been trying you guys. I've been trying so much and I've been just doing my research. So I don't want to share a whole bunch of things until I've really tested them. But that's a winner, 100%. Another K-Beauty winner is this one. It is this BB cream by Misha. Again, it is the perfect cover BB cream. It has SPF of 42 and PA++++. I love this guy. I have the number 27 i bought it from amazon again affordable it was like 20 bucks and this one 
gives you a super amazing coverage. So if you um, are someone that are gonna be outside for long periods of time or you just run in errands, I find that this is perfect because it has your SPF. Of course, I'm not skipping my SPF when I wear her, uh, but she has high SPF. So SPF 42, sometimes I'm even happy to skip my SPF to be quite honest. But this guy is amazing. It looks so beautiful and just natural. You're gonna see a video coming real soon when I feature a this guy I perfume quite a bit so sometimes you see videos right like way after I film them and I apologize but sometimes as a mommy I don't get a ton of time and I have to make sure that whenever I get the space I'll get my videos uh, filmed but anyways yeah this BB cream by Misha looks really nice it has a good medium coverage it has your SPF it evens your complexion and it wears super super nicely even outside in the warm weather so I've been enjoying this guy quite a bit another key beauty product going back to my skincare guys is this one by Cause RX. Oh my god, you guys, this is like a hybrid essence toner kind of thing. Let me show you the consistency. So it is a little bit runny as you can see, but it is thick enough where you can just apply it with your hands. That's what I do so I don't I'm not wasting cotton rounds to apply this guy. But this one is formulated with 7% glycolic acid and it's just an essence to help reveal clear radiant complexion by gently exfoliating. So this is one of those chemical exfoliators that you can use day and night of course, always make sure to wear your SPF, but this guy, I'm obsessed. I, I don't know, I really, really like it. I like the feel of it, it's not super heavy, it, it, and I feel like it's making a difference in the radiance on my skin. So another skincare product that I've been obsessed, it is this one by Good Molecule. It is their Pure Cold Pressed Rose Hill Seed Oil, and this is what he looks like. Hopefully I don't make a mess. Okay, there we go. It is so nice, you guys, because it is super lightweight. It um, rose hip oil is one of those oils that are non comedogenic so they're not gonna really clog your pores. And as your last step at night for the skincare, it's just precious. Oh, I find that this one is beautiful. Has a little bit of a scent but it's so so mild and it absorbs so quickly that's why I like him because sometimes I go to bed and I don't want to feel like super heavy you know even though I just piled a thousand things over my face I don't want to feel heavy I know and so this guy I really appreciate that he just melts and just absorbs so so quickly so this one again by Good Molecules is a great one super affordable if you're looking for a rose hip oil um, you know for your face and body and hair and everything like that this is perfect the next skincare goodie that i wanted to mention is this one by the ordinary this is their ahh 30 percent plus bhh 2 percent so is that red i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it everywhere i don't want to make a mess i don't want to put it on but you know what i mean so this guy is just so nice for texture it really exfoliates nicely it's super strong you guys because when i put it on you're meant to uh, leave it for 10 minutes and i cannot wait that long so i have to build up the tolerance to it i leave it for like five minutes or so and i'm like running uh, to take it all off but i love it i feel like it tingles it's maybe it's doing something because it's tingling i don't know it is quite a strong mask but i really really like it so i've been using it i use it maybe once a week because i don't want to overdo it uh but yeah you guys this is a great product by the ordinary affordable if you wanted to try um an exfoliating mask so of course I'm looking super dewy and uh, the reason for that is my next product. So my favorite primer that I've been obsessing over is by Laneige. It is their Glowy Makeup Serum. This serum claims to be hydrating. It's gonna stand the wear of your makeup and it's just gonna feel super nice. As it says, it's, it is a serum kind of thing. But I like it because it's super hydrating and it actually does stand the wear of your makeup. So if you're feeling dry, like a day like today which is super dry I put this guy and my face looks super nice and it just feels quite quite nice and soothed it's like you're pouring an it's like you're putting an S skincare um, underneath your makeup as your primer so I love that about him and then you get one of those um, it has 
pink particles and uh, those ones are gonna meant to brighten your complexion and everything like that so this guy this makeup serum by Laineige really nice the foundation that i'm wearing today and i cannot get enough is this one by tom Ford. it is their traceless uh perfecting foundation spf 15 i did a review on this guy and oh my god you guys i've worn it so so much since filming that video and i'm truly obsessed i'm so impressed by how nice it wears how natural it looks because my face you can really see through everything you can see me <laughs> wearing this guy and i just really like it i find that it wears really nice even outside in the humid heat weather of summer so i've been wearing him a lot this one is in the shade sable and an affordable option that I've forgotten how much I loved, but I busted back up last week and I've been, oh my God, I, I remember how much I love her. I did a review on this guy. I'm going to link it in my comments uh, below, but this is L'Oreal's Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. And this one is a concentrated serum that has antioxidants. It has SPF of 50 and this one is the shade Sand 70. You guys, this is an amazing product by L'Oreal. If you can find your perfect match, this wears beautiful. Outside, again, you get your SPF and you can, again, wear your SPF underneath. I don't, I don't know if I trust when makeup products say they have SPF, you know? But anyway, this guy wears beautiful. It's just like stunning. This is part of their Age Perfect line, which is meant to be for more mature skin. So it's not gonna settle, it's gonna hydrate. It is a serum foundation. Um, and I love it. So highly recommend this one by L'Oreal. I've also been obsessing over it, and I think I told you already about these Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. Oh my God, you guys, these I mix with my foundation, I mix with my sunscreen, I mix um, with everything. I mix it whenever a foundation is too light, I use it to contour like you're seeing right now. I just cannot get enough. It looks super dewy and glowy, and I bring it over the bridge of my nose. It looks sun kissed and perfected oh my god i cannot get enough of him he is so so nice again this is a skincare product but it's gonna give you that sunshine that we need because we're not getting a ton of it outside uh, and even if you are you should <laughs> cover your face this is faking my my tan so i really like him quite a bit. The highlighter that I'm wearing today is this one by Ilya and you're gonna see a video coming up real soon of my favorite products, my favorite glowy products for the summertime and I have a ton of creams. It's a really nice exciting video uh, but I wanted to share this one by Ilya. This is what I'm wearing right now and I just feel like it looks so so nice. It is the perfect gold this one is in the shade decadence and it's Ilya's daylight highlighting powder and if you're fair i think you're really gonna enjoy it here because this is gold but it's it's a mix with the platinum it's not you know what i mean it's just like perfect for everyone in my opinion because i'm a medium complexion i don't really like platinum uh, highlighters and this one i really enjoy and i find that it just melts and it looks really really beautiful and another product that i've been enjoying quite a bit is this one by chantakai it is their blush in the shade grace and i love it you guys it looks just really natural it has a nice color to it let me do a little bit of a swatch so it leans a little bit coral but at the same time it's just like i don't know it looks neutral on me and i really like it i'm wearing it right now and i feel like i'm it's so so pigmented you guys you have to be really careful um but other than that i feel like the formula is beautiful it just really melts and also it lasts a ton so i appreciate when a blush lasts on me because that's the first thing that goes whenever you wear makeup you know what i mean so this guy is so so nice and yeah i am in love with him I hate to be in love with him because he's so pricey, but... Um, and then for my creams, because let's get real, that's what I wear. This time of the year, that's what I wear the most. I just love some creams. I love them so much. And I've been enjoying um, 
Fenty's Petal Popping the most. This one is the one that gives me a really nice glow and I appreciate her for that. I feel like you can never overdo it. Where is my sponge? I'm always using her and I love her and it gives me, sometimes if I'm, I'm not even wearing highlighter, I don't even mind because this one will give you, if you bring it high enough, it's just going to give you a really nice and healthy do. I love it. And then for an affordable option, you guys, again, you're going to see this one coming in a video, but this one is by Physicians Formula, excuse me, and this is called their Natural Defense Triple Defense Multicolor Stick. This one has SPF of 20 and this one you can wear lips, cheeks, eyes, whatever. And this is what he looks like. I have this shade, um, Natural Rose, and it is so pigmented. Look at this. And guys, I have been wearing this on my cheeks and my lips. So like if you're out and about, this is a product that you can really take on your purse and then retouch. Your blush, as I just mentioned, it always disappears. It's just so easy to be applied and you cannot see the difference when I'm wearing either of them. You're gonna see that in my video. I'm talking about that video so much, but Again, I'm just repeating some of the products because are truly holy grails of mine. And yeah, you guys. And for my glossy, glossy lip, even though I'm not wearing a glossy lip, I've been enjoying these two guys. So this one is by Patrick Ta. It is their Major Glow Lip Shine in the shade Cheese Pensive. This is one of those minty, I don't know if you're gonna see anything, but it's one of those minty glosses. It has a little bit of tiny sparkles, but it's not grainy or anything. You don't feel them on your lips. This gloss is sticky, but sticky enough, which is really, really nice. I take it from someone that hates glasses, and I'm sharing glasses and not lipsticks. I know, who am I? And then this one by Dior, amazing. This one I love the most because it has color to it. 30 and D-Light. And I love it, you guys, because when I'm outside and I'm looking like a hot mess and I have nothing on my lips, this is perfect because then I feel put together and I feel like, you know, healthy and like plump lips and whatnot. So this one is my fave just because it has a little bit of a tint and also it looks so natural and healthy and my lips look so glossy and juicy and yeah. I like this guy so, so much. I want to try more colors, but I'm not really a glossy person, so I don't want, you know, I don't want to be wasteful. But anyway, uh, yeah, those two guys I've been enjoying quite a bit. Hey friends, and sorry that I just need to do a voiceover for this part, but my files got corrupted, I don't know, somehow, but I couldn't leave these two palettes out of my video because they're super important. So the two palettes that I've been using the most is this one, the first one is by Bezier, the Paris Edit. Oh my god, you guys, this is such an easy to use and just... I don't know, just like beginner's friendly kind of palette. I've been doing a lot of like one shadow looks, just packing on like one color on my lid and then just blending the same color all over my crease and I've been loving them. And then just doing like a liner or a lot of mascara. So I've been doing that with the Paris Edit and this is the one that I'm wearing right now on my eyelids. The next palette that I have been enjoying quite a bit for the same reason is the one by Natasha Denona, the Tropic Palette. Same thing you guys the first two roads are just like mattes neutrals and I just pack them all over my lid and then blow them on my crease the same color I love it so so much you guys I'm a neutral girl um, I'm pretty sure you've seen that and um, yeah this one has been so so great the bottom shades which are the shimmer shades are a little bit meh they're not my fave uh, but I, I've been loving this palette I have been enjoying it quite a bit and this product by Maybelline I wanted to mention this brow product I don't usually mention anything from my brows because I'm super simple when it comes to them but this pencil is being green it has one of those dry formulas so you have to drag it a little bit but I like that because it's not super creamy it's not gonna move and slide everywhere I find that this shade is perfect for this in between that I have going on with my hair since I haven't done it in a long time it's just a little bit more brassy and so this color has been good to me and yeah I've been enjoying this pencil quite a bit and I'll leave the name and a shade name and, and for my like fail I'm gonna leave a picture right there I'm gonna talk about glow recipes retinol sleeping mask 
and I had a really bad experience. If you know anything about skincare, please comment below. I would love to know your opinions. So I put that mask um, two Sundays ago and I slept with it because you're meant to sleep with it. I don't use retinols in my skincare because I've used him once before and it just, I, my skin just freaked out. The next day I had red bumpy skin and I'm like, oh Lord. Anyway, that went away. I gave it a month and then I tried it again and that happened again. I was freaking out. My skin was not happy with me. I had all these angry, angry little red bumps all around my mouth and on my chin and like it was just a mess you guys I was so scared um but anyway I I've been hearing things I've been watching videos and sometimes they're saying that that's the skin purging and you're supposed to suck it up and just continue to use it let me know if you use retinol which one do you use because I'm really looking for one to implement into my skincare routine but it's like a mild one I know the ordinary has few but they're all sold out everywhere Sephora everywhere so I really want to try um, a retinol that is gentle um, and that is not gonna make me break out to me that glow recipe mask was a fail because I've tried it twice I don't know what's going on it was just super irritating you cannot it doesn't say how much retinol has inside the mask so you don't even know if you're using a super strong or a super lightweight retinol that one has avocado and it's meant to be nourishing and whatnot oh my god worst worst thing that I've ever done to my face um but anyway if you know a retinol that you really enjoy and that you consider to be mild let me know in the comments below because I would love to try it alrighty my friends and that's it for today thank you so so much for hanging out let me know in the comments down below what were your favorites for this time of the year I would love to know uh the favorite products that you love skincare makeup everything let's chat in the comments below give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video and don't forget to click that red subscribe button below for more and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye you guys!